right. Hello, wine drinking people. We are back with more of what I had to drink yesterday. And our friends were from Premier were in with a few wines from Il Boro Winery. And then a Boro, not a Boro. Uh, it was actually some very good stuff. Uh, Eastern Tuscany, the estate is over a thousand years old. It just goes to show you every day when I come to work, man, I learn something new and never had the wines from this winery before. And the name of the town, the village on top of the hill is El Boro. Okay, well, the uh, property was bought back in 1993, turned into a hotel and resort, and, of course, uh, the wine production facility, uh, about 2,000 acres in the Apennine Mountain Range. Rocky, kind of clay-like soils here. This Chardonnay, a uh, really nice fresh apple and lemon citrus fruit on the nose with a touch of minerality, some vanilla, and some spice there. Bright and refreshing on the palate with uh, some nice chalky minerally notes there, but really nice fruit in this wine. Just a simple Chardonnay for 20 bucks. Hey, a nice little wine, even though Chardonnay Chardonnay is not what Tuscany is known for. Il Boro Pian di Novo, uh, the New Plains, where the vineyard lies on the property, a blend of Syrah and Sangiovese. Syrah does very well in this part of Tuscany for some reason. You're starting to see more Syrah in Tuscany. Uh, the heat tends to make uh, the fruit a little bit more forward, a little richer, complementary to the Sangiovese, which gives it a little body and structure, uh, acidity and freshness as well. Uh, pretty fresh fruit on the nose, plums and cherry-like fruit. This wine does see a little wood for 12 months as well, but only second year oak, so not a lot of spice and that's just a little oxidative character from the wood medium bodied wine not overpowering some lovely earth and cocoa spice showing on the nose and fresh flowers smooth and round tannins on the palate a nice amount of that red cherry and plum like fruit showing and as well as that cocoa and spice on the finish nicely balanced a very good little Sangiovese Syrah blend for 29 25 and then Il Moro Il Moro which I guess this is the flagship wine Merlot 50% Cabernet Sauvignon 35% 10% Syrah little petite for dough 18 months of new barrique, and you do get a lot of that oak spice showing through. This one, a good amount of the uh, current and black cherry fruit, as well as some bell pepper and dark cocoa there. Uh, really nice little wine, international style and Tuscan, but it has, still has that Tuscan earthiness to it and minerality. Uh, lovely freshness on the finish as well, even through all that ripe fruit. This wine's a big boy, but has a lot of oak spice and a lot of everything else. An excellent little bottle of Super Tuscan from a winery we can pronounce, El Boro. All right, I'm your host. Andrew Lampassoni signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.